Brittany Jade and I am so excited to have you guys here today because we are going to be talking about baby led weaning and if this is your first time ever hopping onto a video of mine welcome my name is Brittany Jade I am a mama of three kiddos two of whom are under three so my daughter Novalee is three years old and my youngest son TJ just turned nine months old and I am married to the love of my life. We have been married for two years now. We've been together four and a half. And on my channel, I post a lot about health and wellness. I am currently in my postpartum fitness journey. So I post a lot about healthy eating, lower carb lifestyle, parenting, motherhood lifestyle kind of stuff. So if that is something that interests you, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the little bell notification so that you don't miss any uploads from me. And if you like these kinds of videos, please make sure that you give them a thumbs up because it really does help my channel and it really does support me so I just appreciate you guys so much and let's go ahead and get on into today's video Before we get going any further, I do want to say that today's video is in collaboration with my friend Caitlin. She is another mama here on YouTube that we actually met through Instagram and I just love her so much. She's got three little beautiful babies and her son actually does baby led weaning as well. Our kids are pretty close in age, so make sure that when you're done watching this video that you head over to her channel, check out her video because she's gonna be going through a day of what her son eats in the baby led weaning as well. And we just really hope to bring some education to this topic and just shed some light on something that is kind of a controversial topic. And I hope, I know that you guys are gonna love her channel and I know that you're gonna love her videos. She posts some similar videos to mine along with some daily vlogs and motherhood content so you'll definitely gonna love her plus she is a bombshell you guys like absolutely beautiful so definitely make sure you go and follow her check her out I will have her social media and the links to her video down below so when you're done with this video make sure you go and check out her video all right so baby led weaning what is this whole baby led weaning thing all about what is it why is it so popular? There is a host of questions that have been popping up all about baby led weaning. And basically what baby led weaning is, is it's a method that a lot of other countries besides the US use. It's just a term that kids feed themselves from a very early age. It gets them familiarized with table foods or foods that you eat at meal times with your family. So purees is still like the recommendation here in the US, but lots of other countries, they prefer like extended breastfeeding or baby led weaning essentially, which is just... Okay, so the first thing that's really great about baby led weaning is that they get a lot of hand-eye coordination and there is a lot of improvements with their dexterity because they are picking up their own food and they're bringing it to their mouth. They get a lot of practice with hand-eye coordination and their pincer grasp really emerges, which is awesome as well, which increases their fine motor skills and it gives them a chance to develop really strongly, which is awesome. Baby led weaning also helps out with things like oral motor coordination, which is basically just chewing essentially and being able to swallow so it's all about like the tongue placement like hitting the roof of the mouth and chewing and that whole process that's something that we don't even really think about but babies have to learn these things and baby led weaning really does help to develop that skill set and the biggest draw for most parents or the biggest benefit that I have read online when I was researching baby led weaning and reading about it is that it really helps to develop healthy eating habits and that is something that I am so all about because both of my older kids had like a really weird toddler picky food picky eater kind of behavior and so I'm really hoping that with this experience obviously I don't know if this is going to effectively change TJ's 
eating habits or if it's going to create healthier eating habits or if he's going to be more of an adventurous eater because he did baby led weaning and he is familiarized with different textures, tastes, aromas, things like that. I don't know if that's going to improve his eating habits, but I fingers crossed that it does because that was a huge bonus to me. I would love to have a toddler who I could put something down in front of them, something that we are eating as a family and not have to bite tooth and nail to get them to eat it. They also say that baby led weaning is really good for self-regulation, which means that baby learn to stop eating when they're full, which is something they can't necessarily do when they're being spoon-fed purees because we just keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. They tend to overeat more, so with baby led weaning, they're self-regulating what goes in their mouth, they know when they're full, they know their full signals, and they just stop eating, which I thought was really cool as well because obviously not overeating is going to reduce the risk of like obesity and things like that as we get older, so those are good things to learn. So there are three tips that I'm gonna give you guys if you're considering starting baby led weaning or if you are thinking about it. The first one is to definitely wait until your baby is ready. Your baby should be at least six months old and your baby should be able to sit unassisted and hold their head upright, which seems pretty common enough, but that is the requirement. I actually thought that a baby needed to be rolling before they could eat, but my son's pediatrician at a six month appointment, even though he wasn't rolling, which by the way, he's still not rolling, and the kid is nine months old, still not rolling over, but neither here nor there. Um, his pediatrician did say that at his six month appointment, he was meeting all of the milestone markers and that we were good to go with introducing solids into his diet. Um, but also by waiting until they're six months old, there is something with the tongue and thrust that they're able to do. So they're able to like push out foreign objects out of their mouth by this age, like they've developed that skill um, with their mouth. So that's another reason why it's best to wait until they are six months old. I think that the recommendation has changed now to four months, but just, I think that's with purees. So specifically with baby lead weaning um, and introducing like table foods, you definitely wanna wait until that six month mark. And again, everything that I'm saying here is just based on my own personal research. I am not a doctor. I do not have any licenses in this and I am not a professional by any means. I am just a mom who has done a ton of research on this topic and I was super worried in the beginning. So I did read a book, which I will have linked down below for you guys if you're interested in learning more and Google is your friend, but just be careful about your sources and things like that. And they will offer a lot of tips, but ultimately talk to your doctor, talk to your loved ones and people in your family network to help give you support. So the second tip that I have for you guys is to be patient. I mean, just take baby led weaning with like a grain of salt. It doesn't mean that they're going to start eating like full meals at six months old. They're definitely just gonna be playing with food. I always like the motto like, food before one is just for fun. And that is so true. Their main calories and nutrition should still be coming from milk at this age anyways until one. We like to stick with at least two like meals and then like a snack. Sometimes we'll do three meals. It just kind of depends if I'm at home with a baby or if Taylor's at home. Sometimes he doesn't get like a solid lunch or whatever. But we do love to start off with like a breakfast and a dinner because those are meals where like the kids can kind of sit together and it can be more of like a family inclusion. And that's really something that I love about baby led weaning too is that it really promotes like the healthy family dynamic of eating together at a table and we're all eating together. It's just kind of like a cultural experience and it's really awesome and I just enjoy having my baby pushed up to the table with with his high chair obviously and he's just eating with us and he's getting to experience what we're eating. So the third thing, I guess there's like two more things but I'm gonna morph them together. So the third and fourth thing is that um, you always want to make sure that you are with your baby and that you're watching your baby when they're um, eating just because you want to be there to supervise in case anything gets dislodged or if they start choking or something. You never really know, especially when you're introducing new foods. You just don't know how things might go down. And also, uh, you want to start off with like the mushier, softer foods. Like you don't want to start off giving your baby like dry toast or something at six months old. I would definitely start off with something like mashed banana with breast milk or mashed avocado with breast milk and I actually got this really cool frozen bag of diced avocados from Costco and it is awesome because as you guys know avocados go bad super fast and I am always trying to find ways to make avocados last longer 
<laughs> um, and I have not been successful, but I did find these frozen avocado chunks, which are awesome because I can just pull a couple out, put it in a bowl, let it defrost for a little bit or nuke it in the microwave, mash it up, and my son can go to town or I can put it on toast, which he really likes. So I'm gonna take you guys through and just show you a couple of clips of things that TJ eats. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let's get on into it. So on this particular morning, we went for some scrambled eggs for breakfast, and in the scrambled eggs, I just have a little bit of spinach, some cheese, and some red bell peppers. And TJ really enjoys his eggs with veggies and cheese in them. He does not like plain scrambled eggs, but it's taken us a little while to figure that out. I'm just happy that now he's getting some regular protein via the eggs, and this just makes me really happy to see him actually enjoying his food. To switch up the routine and give him a little bit of different options, some days I will opt for something like these banana pancakes, which are super simple and only three ingredients. I'll have the recipe listed down below for you guys if you wanna check that out. And then some days when I'm feeling super lazy, he will just get some Cheerios, and there is nothing wrong with some Cheerios as long as you pair it with a fruit. And I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I safely chop up his banana. All I do is I make little slits in it and I cut off just a little portion of the skin and I leave the bottom half of the skin on so that it serves as a handle for him so he can hang on to it and he can just kind of eat his banana slowly that way this controls how much banana goes into his mouth and it also gives him something firm that he can hold on to because if you know anything about bananas you know that they're really slippery so any way that you can make food easier for your baby to hold is going to make it that much easier for them to actually consume like I mentioned earlier in this video, it's super important that you always watch your baby whenever they're eating anything. You just wanna be there just in case. For snacks, I like to slice up some red bell peppers and some shredded cheese. He really likes the shredded cheese. And although he's not eating much of this red bell pepper, the coolness of it is really soothing to his gums. We also like to do chopped up fruit. I just have some watermelon and some strawberries, and these are chopped really small. And again, you just wanna make sure that you're being really safe with your sizes. For lunch options, I offer a variety of things, but recently his favorite thing has been brown rice and black beans, and I am here for it because I love black beans and brown rice myself, and he just goes to town on this. I've also been trying to incorporate using a sippy cup and having him drink little bits of water because we are going to be trying to start transitioning him out of a bottle soon so I want to start offering him sippy cups at his meals just to kind of get him familiar with a different top and he actually does enjoy drinking water so that's been kind of nice to just get him used to something different Another option that I have for lunch is pasta, and he loves his pasta noodles. I'll do a little bit of rotini with some butter, and then these are just freezer bag peas and carrots, which I can just heat up really quickly, and it just makes it really simple and easy, and he loves them. Another fan favorite for us is avocado toast. Sometimes we'll put peanut butter toast, but I don't recommend introducing peanuts or just being very careful with them. We already know that he doesn't have any allergic reactions to peanuts, so that is why we, are safe. we feel safe giving him peanut butter, but avocado toast is a great alternative. It's a great source of healthy fats for your baby and it provides a lot of nutrients and I am all about adding in any extra vegetables where I can. I felt really weary about giving my baby meat, but one way that I have found to make it super easy is to crock pot chicken breast on low for the six to eight hours. And this makes the meat really moist and tender and it shreds really nice and easily into small pieces. And he actually really enjoys this for dinner. We just do vegetables, rice, beans, and some chicken and he loves it. All right, you guys, that is everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Please comment down below and let me know if you have ever baby led weaned with your child before and what your experience was like, or if you've never considered baby led weaning and you do purees, no matter how you choose to feed your baby, it is honestly okay because like I said, every baby is different. You know your child more than anything. There's no right or wrong way to feed your child as long as you are making it an experience that you guys can connect with and you can be there to help them learn and grow and enjoy different foods and that is what it is all about. And it's not about like, oh, baby led weaning is like superior to anything or purees are superior or less than or anything like that. 
if you do a combination of baby lead weaning and purees, that's awesome too. If you do only purees, that's great. If you do extended breastfeeding and you're not introducing solids at all until they're one, that is great too. I wish that I could do that honestly and still be breastfeeding, but that's a whole different story. But um, at the end of the day, yeah, I just wanna stress the fact that it is okay no matter how you would like to feed your baby and make sure that you guys are following me on my social medias. I'll have my Instagram linked here. And then two, I did just start a TikTok where I've noticed that a lot of my friends on TikTok have been really curious about the whole baby led weaning thing and about my son in general. So I do a lot of baby related videos like on TikTok. So I will leave my TikTok handle right here on the screen. Everything's pretty much the same, Brittany Jade Anthony. Make sure that you guys are going and following me there if you guys want to see like more like just short little what he's eating throughout the day or different foods or recipes and things like that I would love to hook you guys up with all of that information and make sure that you're not missing anything and also please make sure that you guys go and check out Katie's video I will have all of her links the link to her direct video and the links to her social media in the description box for you guys everything that I showed in this video will be linked in the description box and if I forgot something just comment and let me know and I will like send that right over to you or add it and I, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. <music>